Growing up in Gotham City can be complicated, especially when you're a kid who's obsessed with Batman and Robin. For Tim Drake, learning everything about his favourite superheroes eventually led him down the path of becoming one himself after he deduced the identity of Bruce Wayne. However, there were always some doubts in the back of his mind. He has undergone somewhat of an identity crisis in recent years, but finally he realised what was going on. It's okay, Tim. Ding dong! You got this. Tim? Hi! I'm glad you're here. I've been meaning... I, I mean... I wanted to say... Bernard, wait. Let me talk. I'm really glad you got home okay. I was relieved. And I've been doing a lot of thinking about that night. And I... I don't know what it meant to me. Not yet. But I'd like to figure it out. I was hoping you would. Tim Drake, do you want to go on a date with me? I, I, yeah. Yeah. I think I would... I, I think I want that. To be continued in Batman Urban Legends number 10. Yes, it's official. Batman's sidekick, Robin, is bisexual. Is it just me or have comic books changed a lot since I was a boy? It used to be about the action, about the good guys defeating the bad guys. But now the superheroes are exploring their feelings and sexuality. Do kids still read comic books? I don't know. But is this the sort of stuff that they would be interested in? I wanted to get a feel about what other people thought about this, so I explored some of the comic book forums. Greetings DC Comics. Thank you for outright ruining a classic comic book character just to be politically correct and or woke. As an avid comic book collector up until 2000, I'm absolutely appalled that every segment of entertainment has to be tainted just to make 1% of the population happy while turning away the loyal fan base. As a current Batman collector, toys and rare items, I will not be purchasing anything tainted by your decision. I don't mind starting off a new line focusing in LBGTQ issues, but stop destroying original characters in the process. Enough is enough." Ooh, it seems like lots of people agree with him. Why is there even a need to push sexuality in this comic strip? Did you ever think how boring, how old this in-your-face pushing everyone's political sexuality has become? And it is all about victimhood, preferential treatment, and tax-paid government benefits, plus a means to increase the power and size of government. So please let us, and Robin, not fall prey to this political power play. And let's keep our sexuality modest, with class and privately in our own bedrooms. Hmm, it doesn't seem like too many people are happy with this. My issue is that they're changing an iconic superhero into something he hasn't been in almost 50 years. Can't you create a new LBGTQ character to meet your new agenda? I've no problem with this new agenda, but start it from new, and they can build their own fan base. All they're doing is alienating an existing group of followers. Exactly my thoughts. Couldn't care less if they created new characters, but going back and changing characters from the past makes it seem so forced. I knew they had the Cap version already, but I thought there were other characters they were debating changing as well. Like it was said though, if they create a batch of new characters, they probably wouldn't sell as well since it wouldn't be as big of a piece of the comic community buying. Sixty years ago when I read comic books as a kid, the only thing I cared about was the good guy catching the bad guy. Anyway, the change doesn't seem to have gone down too well within the hardcore comic book community. However, news stories seem to be putting it in a different light. Batman sidekick Robin comes out as bisexual and lets comic book fans know they are seen. It shows the genre is finally being responsive to diverse readers. Robin, Batman's sidekick, comes out as bisexual. After 80 years, Batman's trusted sidekick finally had his coming out moment. In the latest comic, Robin, whose real name is Tim Drake, accepts a male friend's offer to go on a date. Batman's fans rejoice. Robin is officially bisexual. What do you think? Is this good news for Batman fans? Anyway, I've got some real good news. DC Comics sent me a preview copy of Batman Urban Legends No. 10. Here's one of the scenes. Robin, I have something to tell you. What is it, Batman? Please don't call me that. I no longer wish to be labelled a man. What should I call you? Are you transgender? Are you now a woman? Don't be stupid, Robin. Just because I'm no longer a man does not mean I'm now a woman. 
then what are you? What should I call you? I now identify as an actual bat. You can call me Sarah. No worries, Sarah. The New Adventures of Sarah and Robin.